So uh, this is your spacesuit that you'll try on today. This is Ted Southern's third generation spacesuit. Spacesuits are hot. Uh, your body's exothermic and you're in this contained environment. So you will heat up. So um, to close the helmet, you okay. kind of duck under and there you go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But Southern is not an engineer or a scientist. The human body needs at least three and a half PSI of pure oxygen in order to survive. Ted Southern is an artist. When you look at the career, your path, did you ever think you'd be doing what you're doing now? My career has been all over the place. Southern studied music performance in college and sculpture at the Pratt Institute in Brooklyn. While there, he worked for costume designer Martin Izquierdo. One of his first jobs, making those famous angel wings for Victoria's Secret. Some of the most satisfying costumes I found were for the opera. We'd do Broadway shows, we'd do movies, theater, uh, a whole range of things. He's still making costumes for the stage out of his studio in the Brooklyn Navy Yard. We have a 10-year contract with Cirque du Soleil making wolves for their show in Las Vegas for the Michael Jackson show. It was inflatable and his head sort of inflates. You can kind of see the wolf. Here. Yes, you can. His interest in space started in grad school. Southern was designing gloves for his master's thesis when he read about a NASA competition to redesign astronauts' gloves in popular science. That first glove, did you have any idea what you were doing? No idea. Yeah, no, no idea. It was Ted lost the competition like that right year, but met Nikolai Moiseev, an engineer and fellow competitor from Russia. They teamed up, and two years later, their unique single-layer glove earned them second place and a $100,000 prize. Why did you want to try a suit? Um, I have a dream to fly to space to Mars. NASA encouraged the odd couple to continue their work. Moiseev moved to the U.S. and they formed Final Frontier Design. I give Nick a lot of credit for pushing us into uh, expanding beyond just the glove because you know we recognize that we could become government contractors and work for NASA um, but there's also a whole new sort of new space industry growing up you see it with Virgin Galactic and SpaceX but there's there's actually a whole like a rather deep uh, group of international companies that are interested in flying at higher altitudes building rockets themselves and actually even going orbital just this month, Final Frontier received a $125,000 grant to make gloves for future missions to Mars. But Southern knows their work is far from over. There's a lot of reluctance, though, to, to try something new. Um, NASA is very risk averse, and uh, it's hard to convince big companies like Boeing that uh, a couple guys in a garage can make something that can compete or is even better than what's currently available. It's a long way to space, but Ted Southern is getting there one step at a time.